Patriots, 45, Browns, 7. Woo, you don't fire Bill Belichick and get away with it. Patriots have scored at least 45 points in consecutive home games for the first time in franchise history. Wilson, is McCorkle Jones better than Tom Brady? <laughs> <laughs> no, not yet. I don't know how they're – I'm sure some nerd somewhere has done the, the first-year comparisons. But the defense has been out of its mind. That helps. But that McCorkle threw some dimes on Sunday. And yep. he is far and away the best quarterback in this draft class. And you can say it's scheme or whatever. And some of that's obviously true. But uh, my man's dealing. So good for him. I'm glad that I was on the McCorkle bandwagon and didn't bow down to uh, internet pressure. And I'm going to keep re- repeating this theme mostly to remind myself, uh, as uh, our buddy Dave Chappelle likes to say, it don't matter because Twitter ain't real, so you can say what you want on Twitter. Uh, the reality is Mac Jones is really good, and this team is going to the playoffs. Uh, I don't know. They haven't played the Bills twice, right? So there's another Bills matchup coming. I, I don't know. think they played the Bills once. Oh, then that's going to be saucy. Because I, saucy. I, I do want to see how the Bills, who don't look to be them, the 2020 versions of themselves quite yet, they play and, the Bills twice over the next five weeks. Yowzer. So that's going to be fun because the Patriots have gone from a team that can only beat the Jets in the first half of the season, and we had a ton of questions about, to a team that is steamrolling a team like the Browns, who it it's weird that the Browns are brownsing it up because I think we all agree that this is the year that we thought the team was going to be not unstoppable, but uh, I had I picked them winning the division. I liked them better than the Ravens. I thought Baker Mayfield and that Stefanski offense – excelled because you lean on the running game, but everybody and their brother got hurt. They could not block anyone on Sunday. I mean, Baker Mayfield got absolutely destroyed to the point where he hurt his knee and came out and they brought in sacrificial lamb case Keenum who got destroyed as well. Uh, And it was such a blowout breach that McCorkle Jones actually came out for Brian Hoyer. And we know that Bill Belichick rarely takes out his starters, no matter how bad the whooping is he's putting on the opponent. Yeah, I, uh, Mac Jones made some unbelievable throws in this game. It was one of those where uh, I don't know if you saw the t- the touchdown pass to Kendrick Bourne. It was in the first half. Amazing, twenty three yard, like twenty two guys. It's double. He's double covered, and and Mac Jones is a rookie. You, there's veteran quarterbacks that won't dare to make that throw because they don't want to make Bill Belichick mad. Uh, you know, because Belichick doesn't want you to turn the ball over, and the fact that he feels comfortable enough to make these risky throws and make them accurately uh, tells you all you need to know about how comfortable he feels in the system. So I think the Patriots, I, you know, like I don't just think they're a wild card contender. I think they could win the, the AFC East. Yeah, I'm with you. Uh, because as we've talked about, the Bills aren't the 22 version of themselves and, and they've had some up and down performances and those up and down performances has, have included Josh Allen not being quite the, his MVP like self, uh, whereas we've seen the running game take off for uh, for the, the Patriots. We've seen um, Matt Judon go absolutely crazy. Their free agent signing from the from the Ravens, and the defense as a whole has played extremely well. Uh, Ramondre Stevenson played today, had twenty carries for hundred yards, two touchdowns. That's huge. Uh, you mentioned Kendrick Bourne's touchdown catch. Jacoby Myers, by the way, Breach, had a touchdown late in the game. First touchdown in his NFL career, and his teammates are so excited. Like 15 guys came in. That was, I think, the fun fact there was he has the most receiving yards in NFL history before catching his first touchdown. That is correct. Brinson's back. Oh, my God. I stole his fun fact while he was gone. He's Phil yeah. Hartman. That is correct. I think, I think that's <laughs> I Phil agree. Hartman. No, I, was, I was actually though. just looking at that. The uh, do you know who the fun fact would be? Do you know who was number two? Sleeping uh, with the enemy. Nah, number three. Eric B. Enemy was number uh, three. The good Chris Berman reference. Gerald Riggs. Gerald Riggs, the same. I mean, most receiving yards actually was that. That was the stat that I saw. Was receiving yards, receiving ga- games, maybe B. Enemy. Anywho, um, as you were just saying, Wilson McCorkle dealing. I think I have some. Remember back, I can't remember if I made these in April or May. I think it was, I'm trying to think what the, the signing was by the Patriots where I, I made the, the bet. But um, I have the Patriots to win the division. I have the Patriots to win the Super Bowl. And I also bet on the Patriots to win the AFC. 
And I think that there, there's a path. There it is. For the Patriots to get the number one seed in the AFC, which oh, sounds you, insane. You double down on Breach. You said he thinks they can win that division. They're six and four. They're five and a half point five, five and a half point favorites at Atlanta on Thursday night. They're gonna have a 10 day bye before they play Mike Vrabel, who by the way knocked out not sent Tom Brady packing uh and embarrassed Bill Belichick at home in the playoffs. At home, they have the Bills on the road, the Colts on the road, Bills at home, Jaguars at home, and then they close with the Dolphins on the road. I mean, I think that's one, two. I think they split with the Bills. I think they get the Titans. I think they get the Falcons. So one, two, three, four, five. If they can flip the Colts on the road, and they get to 12, maybe 12 and five. Is that the one seed in the AFC? No. Okay. Who who's who's beating Steel, Steelers? I just feel like 12 and five. 12 and five? 12, four, and one. That's what the you gotta beat Tennessee because Tennessee's eight and two. That's going six and one over their playing, final seven games. Playing some good football breach. I understand that. I was uh, before Brent's guy, I said I'm on the bandwagon. They're running, they're running, they're running the ball. It feels like a 2001 Patriots team. I mean, I know that sounds like dumb to say because they kickstarted a 20 year dynasty, but they have a great running game with multiple varied running backs. <clears throat> they have a young quarterback who's just making clutch plays late in games, and they have a defense that is sort of no name ish, but has a bunch of young talent. Barmore is playing great on the interior. Matt Judon was a huge pickup in free agency. I mean, this team's good. I would let me ask you, uh, what, what would the ratings be for a for like we talk about LA, LA in LA? What about Belichick Brady Super Bowl in Los Angeles? Well, whoever has whoever has Super Bowl this year would love that, I would imagine. It's not NBC. Us. Let me uh ask an equally as important question. And I've been pumping this up for months, but I might be changing my tune. Yeah, should the Browns pay Baker Mayfield? Yeah, you can't. You can't. You can't. 30, 35 to 40 million dollars for what exactly? It feels like a Jared Goff situation. It but... sort of does, right? Big Baker Mayfield guy, and you can't pay him what you would have to pay him based on the market value. And I don't even think Baker can ask for what the market value is. Baker also can't take an and uh, not being a jerk. Not, he can't take an Andy Dalton second contract either which is middle of the road why not you can't take 28 million dollars a year because you'll get 35 on the open market maybe i think so well they have them under contract for next year yep so then you just say all right play it out one more do the deck thing play it out one more season and either prove it or don't and lamar hasn't gotten paid yet either right right and lamar's and and in fact well i told thursday night when he laid a a poopoo ball in in miami lamar was about to make more than mahomes you know how funny well, the three days are. Mahomes, I was like, I mean, now Mahomes played great and, and Lamar played like crap. Um, yeah, that's, I don't, uh, I mean, Baker obviously has two months to turn it around, but it, it has not been fun to watch. I, I don't know what you It do. was not a great uh, week 10 for that 2018 draft class between mm-hmm. Lamar, Mason, Rudolph, the best quarterback from the class, according to some people. 